Hi, my name is Arnie Viorel. I'm just making some videos of um, myself telling some stories of being a cop in Compton. I'm writing a book right now. It's called A Compton Cop. And just really trying to get some things down and um, how it really was. But just not my stories. It's about stories of other cops that I worked with that I made great friendships with and that um, some of them were lost in the line of duty and some of them when I retired um, we drifted apart. I started in 1988 with the Compton Police Department and retired about September of 2001 when the Sheriff's Department took over. And during that whole time most of my career I worked uh, undercover narcotics. Met a lot of good cops there that I worked with and a few bad ones. But um, through and through, it, it was an awesome job. It's one of the best jobs I had. Got into multiple shootings, shot and killed a guy, and uh, worked with the gang unit uh, hand in hand. So the guys in gangs I worked with, they were good cops. Um, even some other street cops that are out there just working day shift, swing shift, PM shift, graveyard. And there's a lot of stories that I have that I, I want to tell you through my eyes and what I saw. Good, bad, fun times. Wasn't all about Tupac, wasn't all about Biggie Smalls, wasn't all about the gangs. Again, I want to go back and tell you about the friendships that I made. Uh, the cops that I see lose their lives. Um, and two, that I don't, that we as officers um, shouldn't forget. And that's Kevin Michael Burrell and James Wayne McDonald's, McDonald, Jimmy Mac. Um, it's a hard time during that period when we lost those officers. Went through many chiefs of police there. Um, saw a lot of people come and go. But um, hopefully we can come out with um, stories uh, two or three times uh, a month. And at the same time, uh, like I said, I'm about halfway done with my book or a little more. And um, it's... Uh, uh, and, and I'm sure there's a lot of cops out there that have gone through what I've gone through and are going through what I've gone through. And um, uh, a lot of my time, you know, um, I've been married now for 30 years. And, uh, you know, during that time, it was difficult, um, even as a cop, being married. And we're going to interview my wife as well, and she'll tell you exactly how hard it was uh, married to a cop. But we got through it. Uh, we're going to come out with some cartoons and some storylines behind the cartoons. Again, like I told you, not just about uh, gang violence. Um, the personal relationships that I made throughout that, uh, being a Compton cop. And we'll interview other cops as well. I have other police officers that I worked with that are now retired or are still working that um, uh, will have stories to tell you as well. And I think one thing that kept, that kept me sane was um, having a relationship with my Lord Jesus Christ. And that was um, tough, even when I was a cop. Walked away, didn't think anything was going to happen to me. And, you know, you lose your relationship with him. And I thank God now, I look back, that he took me out of there. And because uh, I wouldn't have the relationship that I have with him now, with my wife, with my children, you know, that are doing great, great things, which is awesome. You know, I hope you enjoy these videos. I really hope that, you know, this can teach you at the same time and have fun. And um, I started a, um, a website. And hopefully that'll be up very, very soon. And uh, we're just having some finishing touches on it. And 
Uh, but you can contact me at narcos at acomptoncop.com. That's narcos, N-A-R-C-O-S, at acomptoncop.com. I want to hear from some retired cops. Contact me. I know it's been a long time. I've kept, you know, busy, uh, kept under the radar, lost some friends, like I said, and gained some new ones. And uh, just wanted to reach out to you and uh, contact me. And I would like to interview you as well. We can have some fun coming back and forth. Um, we had some great times in that police unit. Uh, some guys I'll just name off that I rode with, uh, Marcos, Al, Joey, Bruce, um, Dougie, um, you know, Mike, and uh, Carl. You know, some other names that come to mind is one of my real good friends, Eric P. His brother was, uh, worked for the department too, and uh, he passed away. And um, um, who else, man? Uh, JJ, <laughs> great man. Um, John W., uh, John F., guy John, the sergeant there, uh, he gave me this plaque when I left, or when he left, when he retired. He said, hey, Arnie, man, I, wa I want to give you something. And this the badge numbers of um, Kevin Michael Burrell and James Wayne McDonald. You know, there's a few other guys, uh, Ron. We got our tattoos, you know, with their badge numbers on there, showing that, uh, hey, man, we're, we're always thinking about them and their families, and I hope they're doing well. Um, my other buddy, Robert. And, you know, like I said, I worked with some good cops, man. We had good times. Uh, Timmy, Bobby, Eddie, Ray, Ray Boom Boom, and uh, uh, Serge. Uh, we had some good times. Um, the list goes on. I can't, I, I can't remember you all right now, but it'll, it'll um, come to mind. Um, Reggie, uh, please contact me. I'd really like to hear your stories. We can go back and forth on it. But the jokes we used to play on each other in the police unit, um, the jokes we played out in the field with each other, and um, uh, tell your side of the story. Have some good times. But there's three things or a few things I want to leave you with. One of them is uh, that I see out after being away from being a police officer for so long um, is I think we've got to all grow and respect each other. And we've got to start by um, remember we have one shepherd. And that one shepherd is our Lord Jesus Christ. John uh, 10, 16. So go to that verse, read it, and you'll enjoy it. Um, but the three things I leave you with is love and pray. Second, when you're in a restaurant or you're in your house, push your chair in after you eat. Be respectful. And three, use the darn turn signal when you're driving. That just drives me nuts. But you know, start off with those easy things, easy steps, okay? So again, contact me at narcos at and I'll get in touch with you. Love you guys. Be safe. Stay alert, stay alive.